students from 11 different schools all across the Okanagan gathered at UBCO this weekend to compete in the first Lego League robotics competition, where students must build and program a Lego robot that can complete specific tasks. So the, the beauty of this program is it's all student-driven. Um, students are supposed to come up with their own strategy. They choose which missions they want to complete um, and try and maximize the number of points they can do in, in two and a half minutes. Our highest score of points is 155 with the robot. So there's different attachments you can put on using Lego. There's, this is the bucket, this is the um, arms, and you just make, you just make a robot. Not only are these Lego robots able to complete tasks, but they do it without the use of a remote, making the task completely pre-programmed by the students prior to the competition. They can only touch the robot when it's in its home and set the program, but once it's out on the field, it has to completely do everything by itself. So the kids have to pre-program it, tr test it, trial and error, persistence. They have to can, you know, persist through because there's a lot of times when it doesn't quite work with the way they program it to. Blaskovitz is hopeful this hands-on experience can help inspire the next generation to pursue a career in engineering. What I love about the FIRST program is it, it's building those core competencies with those students, um, problem-solving skills, creative, critical thinking skills, all of those kind of pieces, this hands-on component, which is, is super engaging for the kids and hopefully inspires them to, you know, whether it's going into engineering or some field where they're going to utilize those skills later on. Six of the 11 teams competing at UBCO will advance to the Provincials in Maple Ridge on March 11th. I'm Braden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.